Hey, and welcome to this video where we're going to look at building a upvoting feature, much like the very popular one on ProductHunt.com. Let's take a look at how that functions and we'll see the functionality that we're going to build in this video. And basically you can see it just goes up, goes down, a little bit of a UI change with the orange uh, border when you've upvoted something. So we've got these uh, these LinkedIn SignaDoc consensus. I've got these over here as some sample data that we'll be working with in this tutorial. Uh, this is just the UI. I'll show you that real quick that here over in data, these are just posts, posts displayed in a repeating group. And we've got a title, a content, and an image so far. And so uh, title, content, image. And then what we have here is a repeating group that searches for all the posts. There's only just these three in the database. So that's what we've got set up so far, just as kind of a starting place. Next step, what we're gonna do is we are, in, you'll see uh, building the button, building the logic for the button when it's clicked, and then uh, you know building the right data so that it interacts and has conditionals uh, so that people can only upload things once. So let's get started by building our button here. And we're gonna do that by just grabbing a group and dropping it in here. And the type of content for this group, we're just gonna call this group uh, upvote button and the data source is the parent group's post. So this is inside of a repeating group that basically just keeps passing the data up through the groups and now it's in this one. And we're gonna add a little border here, give that a nice light gray color, and maybe a roundness of five as well. And let's see for our layout, probably go something like 70-ish, uh, maybe by 55, I don't know. That looks, that looks pretty close, pretty close to what we got there. And then we want this container to be a column because we're gonna have two things uh, inside of it. And what we're gonna have here is a material icon. And we'll just say arrow. And this one looks good enough for me. We'll lay that out here. Maybe give it a little bit of a margin or so. Size is good enough. And then let's take the appearance down for a bit of a lighter gray. Cool. And then we'll come back to that um, to change the color later. So next up, let's go grab a piece of text, drop that in here, and this is gonna display the number. So I just wanna center this. And then we actually need to create the field that this thing will display by. But first I wanna center that and drop that there. Cool. So what I'm gonna do, probably wanna give that a bit of breathing room above it on the top as well. So let's just say eight. Let's go, we need to display something in here, so let's go and uh, to our data tab. And data types, we're gonna add here under post. We're gonna add, so the way I'm gonna do this logic is that basically we're gonna count up the number of users that have upvoted it, and then we'll make a list of that. So list of upvoters, and that is just a list of users. And then that way we can just search if somebody's already in this uh, list, then we know that if they click it again, we're actually gonna have them download it, like you see here. Although it uh, looks like some people have already come to this page again to upload this one, but okay, there. Ticks up one, ticks down one, up. And so let's see. Um, the other thing we're gonna do though is we're just gonna keep track of total, total votes as a number, uh, because then we can use that for sorting. So, okay, now that we've got this dynamic uh, number here, so parent groups, post, I guess we could use the list of upvoters count or the total votes. I'm gonna go with, uh, with, with this as a count. And let's see. Um, yep, that just stays as one solid color the whole time, so that's fine. So uh, next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this workflow Looks like that, uh, this could maybe, does it have a margin? Just getting some nice spacing there. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do four, and then let's close the width of this to maybe like that. Okay, so when this group upload, upload, up upload button is clicked, 
but we want to make some things happen. But actually, we only want to do that when this parent group's post list of upvoters contains, well, let's start out with doesn't contain. So like nobody's, this person has not done anything for this yet. Then we want to make it uh, uh, increase by one for the upvotes. So we're going to make changes to a thing. Parent groups post. What we're going to change is this list of upvoters. We're going to add the current user. And then we are going to um, Well, actually, before we do that, we copy this, paste it, and you'll see why in a second. First, I want to uh, take this total votes and I want to set it as this post total votes plus one. And of course, over here, note that you probably want to set this as a zero for the post. Uh, sorry, not that one, this one, to for the total votes. So it gets started at zero, and because I have some sample data, I'm just going to note that I, I'll definitely want to go in here and uh, actually manually update these real quick. So that way we get the behavior that we expect to get. Cool. Okay, so back to our story here on the workflow. Basically, if I'll explain here what uh, you're seeing on the screen. So the parents groups, when it doesn't contain a current user, meaning that this person has not upvoted anything yet, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a change to the total upvotes. We're gonna add that as one. And you know what? I can do these actually on the same. I was, I was, I think I was using, I was not using total upvotes in a, in a previous video. Uh, I was using this list of upvotes and then counting them and I wanted to separate them out, but uh, this, is, this is the way to do it. So we're going to add the current user, and uh, cool. So next up, we're going to want to copy this, paste this here, and then we're going to make the other side of the condition. When it contains the current user, we want to uh, drop this one down and remove this. So let's go take a look. Uh, first off, I'm going to see. I'm going to make sure I know that who I'm running this as. So I'm running this as test user one. And I can see now that when I click this, it pops up to one. And But I'll note this, if I click this consensus one, uh, it's still down here at the bottom. So let's work on one, changing this border and icon to being orange, and then two, uh, filtering, filtering things. So basically when I'm on this group upvote, upvote button, and when this group's post, list of upvoted users, the list of upvoters, when it contains the current user, then we want to change the border color to some kind of orange. So maybe this. Cool. And then we'll do that same thing for the icon. Whoa. And actually, Just start from the beginning. Contains current user, and then we'll change this icon color to that orange. Cool. So that's looking good. The next thing we'll want to do is go to this repeating group, and where it searches post, we're going to want to sort by. And notice that uh, we we cannot sort sort by account with the other ones. So hence we need this total votes and descending. So cool. We want that to be true. Now I'm running this as test user, one of our test users. And we can see here, boom, consensus is now one, and then it drops down. Sigma dot, one. And then, so let me go and run this now as a this user. And then we can see here, we'll just refresh the data, that Sigma dot has this test user, and it's set at total votes of one. And then I'm going to vote it again. So let's check this now here, refresh this data. We've got test and test two user, total votes of two. Let's go and maybe this was a really cool, helpful thing, LinkedIn Carousel, and we can see here, if we refresh this data, test user two, and total upvotes of one. So there you have it. That's how you build an upvoting mechanism just like the Product Hunt, uh, very popular upvoting, downvoting um, functionality. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like or subscribe, and thanks for watching.